In this section, we take the model, throw it into Blender, play around with the materials, learn about the materials, and then when I export it back into Giants Editor, I completely lose my crap and get mad and frustrated at this, but I achieved 90% of what I wanted, but there are so many wrong things with this editor. So if you'd like to learn, but understand that's what the final outcome is, this video is for you. Okay, I am ready to move on to materials. This is the headache part. Before we export out anything at all, I'm going to go around the model and figure out different ways to cheat and just like not do a full conversion. For some of you, this is gonna be what you wanna do as well. For some of you others, you can go ahead and repeat the same methods that I will do with the body, but on the little stuff, if it doesn't really matter to me, I'm just gonna use the in-game stuff. Now, throughout this video, I've been using wireframe, wireframe? selection and for right now due to we want to be able to see what the material's doing when we're editing on it we're gonna uncheck it inside of my preferences and it'll look something like that which is perfectly fine i'm gonna hit close on this and we're gonna start diving into what exactly is going on here i do i don't know everything about converting tires to be honest with you i'd feel much better actually just putting some in-game ones in there to save on memory space and stuff because less textures, better mod, works better and whatnot. Let's try to play around a little bit because I already have a specular and a normal map that was converted over with it. It is all one material and it has the in-game shader applied. So I'm going to attempt to manually do this and let's see. So let's go through and we're going to pick, we need a default specular and we need a default normal and a default diffused uh, for rubber is what I'm looking for in particular. So when I press the three little dots, it's going to bring up this detail specular. I'm going to press the three little dots again, and it's going to bring up a non-metallic library here. Uh, this is all information that is inside your data folder on your farm sim. And there's a folder called rubber. So let's see what's in there. And we chose the detail specular. So I'm going to pick rubber specular, press apply. Next, I'm going to do the same thing with the normal. Okay, same area, rubber, rubber normal. And then last but not least, we're going to go to detail diffuse and we're going to choose the rubber version of this. Okay, now I have a rubber tire, right? Because I can't see Jack Diddley squat, I'm going to go up to create and I'm going to make a light and I'm going to rotate that light a little bit. To a point where it is shining on the tire doesn't look the greatest does it oh there we go now i got a little bit of light on it i mean it looks better okay i'm gonna do the exact same thing to the let's see here i want the i want this part i want the inner part all right it took me a hot minute to figure out like what was the metal part here because of how it's all set up but i feel like i have the center part selected right now it does have the application to it i'm gonna try to i'm gonna leave that i don't know if this uh tire it's it normally would look deformed but we'll have to load it in game i'm not a extensive pro on tire pressure deformation okay but i am going to come up here and there is no more color mask right there is a v mask v2 stuff like that but we are going to just apply some detail speculars so we're going to look for a metal, and that's not good enough. We want a metallic metal. So I hit up one to the detail library, and we're going to come in here and try to find one that is going to match what we're looking for and not get scratched. Let's try this one. I kind of want just chrome, chrome wheels. Is there chrome? And if you really want to see what these look like, like when they're done, you can click on the icons folder, and this will show all of them combined with their perspective perspective so the one i'm kind of looking for is this calibrated metallic i like that so detailed i think that's in here calibrated 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 metallic metallic paint no nope. i think i'm just going to choose the clear specular oh yeah that's the one i wanted and then for the normal map i'm going to do the exact same thing oh where were you at you're running metal okay so i'm going to go metal ah instead of doing that i'm going to go back up to shared right here because they don't actually have one that'll work with this. And I'm just going to pick the default normal. Bingo. Okay. And then for the diffuse, we are going to need to check this box and select the diffuse now. Same thing. I'm going to go back to the detail library. You're going to go to metallic and just go clear diffused. It should get rid of our checkers now. 
it doesn't look the greatest because we don't have a ambient inclusion on there. There's just a universal dirt. I don't like making mods like this because I love to have that unique. But as you can see, the tire looks way better than it did. The problem is <laughs> the other tires look like garbage. But I'm going to hit save on what we currently have. I'm going to pause for a minute and just let you know if you're completely lost, I have a whole playlist of tutorials. Whether you're a total newbie or just need a refresher, those videos will have your mod ready in no time. Now let's get to work. I'm able to do this method because each one of the objects that I'm editing their materials have one material. They share the same uh, diffuse or albedo, albedo, gloss map, and normal map. Okay, that's super important because if we tried to do this to this whole the whole body here, which has multiple things on it that are not you know like this bar right here is chrome or some type of metal but the body is not going to be if we try to do that to this it's, it's just going to end up very badly if we came into here and started i mean if you didn't really care and you just wanted to get a color on there and there wasn't a whole lot of other crap that you had to deal with you could totally uh, go through and do it such as this where i'm choosing Let's see, our first one I picked on was a detail diffuse. So I'm going to do calibrated paint. And you can see I got rid of the checkered, but it's applying universally across the model. Uh, in order to not do this, we have to pull it out in the blender. But for simplicity's sake, if you're okay with this, let's just keep on going with it for just a minute. And next, we're going to apply a normal map that is going to be reflective of what we're looking for. And that was under calibrated and it's calibrated paint. Press apply and then also apply a detail specular, calibrated paint and specular. Go. Then from there, we can come up to our shader parameters and click on color scale. And we can change this whether, whatever color we want. If we wanted to go all red, we go all red. And if we wanted to change if it was glossy or clear coat, stuff like that, I believe you can select these and add, uh, yeah, so clear coat intensity. You can see it added that gloss to it where if we were to uncheck it you could see it comes and goes like that uh and the smoothness of it i don't know for sure what all these do if we wanted to make it look metal there's still a lot to be learned even by myself with this but if you're just trying to dink around there's a couple things on here Un unfortunately these vents are metal but they're attached to the body so this is why this model has to come out into blender come in here hey there is there is a passenger seat in here what do you know same thing with my inside my inside is going to have a ton of materials attached to it but i have to pull that out in the blender too this guy i might be able to not do so it currently has shader applied to it and it's looking through the diffuse so let's go through and just apply a generic detail shader and for that i'm just going to go to the data and shared section and just find a generic one where it says default okay i'm just going to select default okay and then same thing with the normal i'm going to come through i'm going to go back to that shared selection and just apply a default normal and i need to do the exact same thing with the diffuse now there currently is oh there is a default diffused in here cool all right now, it doesn't look the greatest. I will be the first to admit that. It does not look the greatest. Okay, but it does. It is working. There's going to be a lot of stuff in here that needs done to it. But if you just wanted to very quickly get this guy in game with not worrying too much, you know, if the trailer hitch was red, you know, this is mainly the method for people who don't have a damn clue what they're doing. Now, the big thing is I don't want to have to do that over and over again for my tires. So what I'm going to do here is probably duplicate them. I have second axle, and then it looks like I did another axle for the rear. So where the tires are, I'm actually going to dive into there and start replacing them by using the old ones. So left front, left front. I want those. I want that whole thing. So I'm going to select the other one, the wheel front left, and I'm going to do Control W. And what it's going to do is it's going to load it into this replace find function here. So we loaded this wheel at this identifier. It matches up here, ID. And then we want to replace it with this wheel, which is the front one that we did all these edits to. And I'm just going to press that replace button. And it will go through and replace it. So we don't have to manually do all that work to that second one, right? But we are going to run into a little bit of an issue because 
then we have the other side. I recommend that you, there's no easy way. I mean, we could technically copy, paste, rotate, but uh, the problem is, is the tread. You notice the tread is going forward. And if we were to rotate the other side to easily go onto this side, the tread would be going in reverse. So unfortunately, we need to do the same thing that we did to this wheel, to this wheel, and then do the repla replace function to get that back wheel changed. So I will do that really quick. Now, if you don't want to manually do that, you can open up the i3D after hitting save inside of Giants Editor. And you come to whatever it is you manually change the color of, such as right here, this frontal bow wheel, right? I don't even know what I was writing when I made this mod. And at the very end of this, it's going to have a material ID number, which is 14. Now, if I was to go through and highlight this frontal co, I can see that I have another one right here. And I need to ensure that it is the same material. So it is not. It is 375. I'm going to change that to 14. If I had the right thing pasted there. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to keep moving on down the line. I have another one right there that is going to be 14. Oh, it is. It must be the left side wheel. So we're going to move on down to the next one. Or up in our case, I guess. And changing that top one up there. Ensuring that it's on the same line that I need to change that right there. See now I do know that the wheel is named shape in the XML file right here. So the actual wheel portion is named shape. So if I come into here and I know that I edited this one and copy this material right here and also paste it underneath the other wheels where it says shape and this will save me a lot of time like Fun, fun. See, here's another one. So here's my 14 that we changed. So we need to change that one as well to 41. And you just want to make sure that you do this to all the wheels that you intended on messing with. I, I feel like I missed one. I'm just going to hit save, hit reload, look at it and see which one I missed. And voila, the wheels were quickly done. So I didn't have to manually. I, I feel like that that's faster than manually going and selecting every single one of them. And I think I'm at the point now where I've gotten everything done that I don't want to do in Blender. Oh, well, I have some other stuff here. I think these are, let's see what it is. It's just a mesh, but but I'm still going to apply the vehicle shader to it, and I'm going to have to manually go through and do it all because it. I don't like what it gave me. I need to change the detail, the specular, and the normal, and the diffuse just like I did before. And it's not the greatest texture I love, but you can tell that it's metal now. It has a little bit of a metal glow to it. Just double check and make sure there isn't anything else that I want to do. Lights, windows. I think these windows still. We. I don't see any reason that we need to. I don't officially know if I need to pull all that out, but I do need this guy. This guy has the everything installed on him, but I need to go through and update his diffused and specular and normal and stuff. So I'm gonna go through and do that right now. I believe the calibrated paint would be okay for this one. So specular then apply the normal map and then lastly the default diffused i went through all this with you guys just so you get a good grip i know i very repetitive went over it like three or four times uh how to do it and i hope i hope uh my veterans out there aren't getting frustrated with the simplicities of this stuff but there's a lot of people that don't understand so i'm trying to cater to them if you understand this watch it on 2x okay so after about 19 minutes of dinking around with the materials in game without pulling it into the blender i've managed it to look like this okay i not anything that isn't gonna be pulled into blender i have went through and just manually assigned it because i didn't really care like the wheels and stuff i didn't really care uh, i'm still gonna get dirt on them it's still gonna be fine but i'd like to load this up in game really fast and just make sure that we didn't make any errors or issues so what i'm teaching you is valid and you can see that it, at least as valid as i can make it because i don't know what the hell i'm doing this is just all trial and error this is one month of me messing around with it and trying to share that information with you well there you go the only error that i have in there is for me loading a light i wasn't paying attention that issue should be gone now and we will just reload it in the i3d here and now it's gone are you tired of hunting down errors in fs25 the log scanner from lambo mods does the work for you quickly find and identify game issues so you can focus on what matters playing and modding check it out on patreon today as it's included with my gold tier there we go Wheels actually don't look half 
bad. They definitely need a uh, an AO map on them because you can see some weird shadows. The a ambient inclusion basically tells the game where all the shadows would be, and that chrome would look way better with it on there. And I don't think I have a unique specular map just for those wheels. But the tires do look deformed a little bit. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, a little bit. They look a little fat at the bottom. Hard to tell. And there we have it. He is in game and working. Textures look terrible, but we're going to get to that point eventually. But there is no errors. Working 100%. And the only thing left to do is to throw this bad boy, the parts we want to, in Blender. Properly extract them. Maybe move, you know, move some stuff that doesn't look good. Add some lights to it. Whatever we wanted to do. Let's check our beacons really fast. Those work. Oh, yeah. You don't need, for the most part, you probably shouldn't have any issues converting the beacons. They should just automatically work. I didn't do jack to that. But you can see that method that we did with the lights is going to be a little bit. Let's uh, open this up here. And I'm actually going to go to those back lights again since I'm not happy with them. And they should be this red, I believe. Yes, they are looking like they're red there. But remember, we're using this special shader. Now, where is it getting its yellow glow from? I'm going to have to say that yellow glow is from the way that I did it inside of a blender long, long ago. Because it, it does. It has a yellow. Those don't look like brake lights. I don't know. But on my... On my cop car, they were red. So I think this was actually an error that I made in Blender when I very first made this guy. And I probably did something in FS22 to not make it be an issue. Like I used a glow shader or something probably. But we'll see. Other than that, she's working. And she's ready to be thrown into Blender, which I feel is going to be in the next video. 